good morning. Thank you for inviting us. My name is Nitin Gupta. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Fatero Recycling, which is the leading electronic waste recycling company in India. We believe it's not waste until it's wasted. But what exactly is electronic waste? Electronic waste is anything and everything that runs on electricity and has become end of life. Why should you and I be bothered about it? There are five key reasons. First, it's hazardous in nature. So it contains traces of toxic metals like lead, cadmium, mercury, which needs to be handled in an environmentally friendly fashion. Right? As a statistic, electronic waste makes up less than 4% of the total waste generated in the US, but contributes to more than 97% of the hazardous waste generated. So it's a big jump in terms of the hazardous content there. Right? Second, it's a data security issue. More and more corporates and more and more individuals have a lot more data in digital form, and proper recycling uh, makes sure that the data is uh, not tampered with. Third, in developing countries, especially in India, most of the electronic waste is actually recycled in a very bad situation. Right? Most of the electronic waste is actually recycled in the informal sector, where women and children, uh, like you see some photographs up there, uh, they use rudimentary technologies like acid stripping, cyanide processing, and so on and so forth, without any protective gear, and a huge concern for health, environment, uh, and so on and so forth. Right? As an example, uh, to extract some metals out of electronic waste, uh, the printed circuit boards are put in a pond of cyanide plus sulfuric acid, and some gold, some platinum floats to the top, which is skimmed manually, and the remaining solution is dumped in the nearby water stream. Right? It's, it's really bad. And most people, like I said, involved in this trade are women and children without any concern for health and safety. Right? The third or, or more important reason for uh, electronic waste recycling is it's because it's a cheaper and a sort of a better source for metals and materials. So electronic waste contains rare earth metals like germanium, selenium. It contains precious metals like platinum, gold, palladium, silver. It contains base metals like copper, lead, tin, nickel, and so on and so forth. When I say a cheaper source, what I mean is, as an example, the amount of energy involved to, let's extract one gram of copper from electronic waste is 77% less as opposed to extracting the gram of copper from virgin mine. So on a pure carbon footprint basis, it's a much cheaper source of metals. Right? Lastly, it's about sustainable development. As the demand for electronics is increasing, the demand for metals and materials which make it up is also increasing. A sustainable future is when a certain percentage of this demand is met with a recycle stream. Right? Otherwise, there will be a demand supply imbalance. So those are five key reasons on why electronic waste recycling is an issue and needs to be addressed in a proper technical manner. What exactly is Atero? Atero is a company we started around four years back, which is today a leader in electronic waste recycling. We have developed a very unique technology wherein we can extract most metals out of electronic waste in the most environmentally friendly manner and in a distributed uh, cost uh, situation, which I'll describe in the next few slides. We also sort of handle totally hazardous waste like CFLs, which contain mercury, refrigerators which contain CFC and so on and so forth, and make sure everything is recycled in an environmentally friendly manner. We are also the only company in the world to be able to generate carbon credits from recycling electronic waste. Right? So our methodology for carbon credit uh, has been approved by UNFCCC, and now every ton of electronic waste recycled by Tero uh, is applicable for carbon credits. Right? Uh, today, from an operational standpoint, we have a pan-India operation where we pick up electronic waste from 100 different cities across 22 different states in the country. Uh, from a transparency perspective, everything that is picked up is barcoded at source, and there's complete transparency end to end. Right? So uh, our clients, our customers, our people can see what's happening. What exactly is the technological innovation that we did? So uh, our technology is uh, patent pending around the globe. What we did was developed a very green solution for electronic waste recycling. What do you, we don't use any uh, sort of hazardous uh, chemicals like cyanide, aquaregia, mercury, ammonia to extract metals from electronic waste. It's a total green solution. And uh, our cost of doing this is two orders uh, of magnitude lower than anybody else in the world. Right? There are only few companies around the globe which can successfully extract metals out of electronic waste in an environmentally friendly manner. Our uh, technology enables us to do the same thing in a distributed fashion at a much lower viable capacity. So you can see those, uh, our minimum viable capacity for a plant is 1,000 tons per annum as opposed to anywhere around the world which is 200,000 tons per annum. What that enables us to do is put up a solution in developing countries where there's not enough feedstock. Right? Otherwise, uh, the big guys can't go there and uh, sort of do proper recycling. What that also enables us to do is that a capex on a plant basis, it's much, much, much lower. 
right? It's a million dollars compared to hundred million dollars for anybody else in the world. These are some actual photographs of the processing plant in India. Uh, on the left hand side, you can see a big shredding machine. On the right corner there, you can see a eddy current separator, which basically separates metals based on density. And on the bottom left hand corner, you can see a magnetic separator. So uh, what we did was develop a technical solution. What we had to worry about is how do we get enough feedstock into the processing plant so that we can actually have an impact on the society and on the environment, right? In India today, the situation is that most of the electronic waste is actually generated in the consumer homes, right? Uh, businesses generate 25%, consumers generate 75%, and more than 95% of the total electronic waste generated in the country is actually recycled in the informal sector by women and children using hazardous methods, right? So one of the challenges for us was how can we build an ecosystem around electronic waste collection in the country wherein we are able to utilize the technology and have a bigger impact, right? Uh, so you can see the figures in red and green there, but uh, this is a case study of what happens, right? So every electronic waste that is collected by the informal sector is sort of uh, uh, passes through multiple hands. It's sold to traders and so on and so forth, dismantled manually, and then used uh, sort of cyanide and uh, sulfuric acid is used to extract some metals. As opposed to uh, the Atero solution, everything is collected uh, sort of in a secure manner. There's proper tracking, there's data destruction, complete recycling. The only end-to-end -end recycling solution present in the world today. So. Uh, the collection problem, how do we address that? So what we are doing right now is some sort of a social innovation in the country where we're building out an ecosystem for collecting electronic waste and making sure that people who are involved in electronic waste recycling in the informal sector are formalized and part of the supply chain. So people don't lose jobs, we don't displace them, but we come up with a solution which is the most cost-effective, most environmentally friendly solution possible. Right? So you can see on the left-hand corner here, there's a sources of electronic waste. It's consumers, government companies, public companies, private companies. Uh, the yellow box that you can see is the formalized informal sector people. What do I mean by those? It's people who are actually working in the electronic waste recycling trade today, using cyanide, sulfuric acid, whatever that might be. We are converting them into a formal supply chain, uh, sort of giving them bank accounts, making sure the children go to school, and utilizing them for collection uh, across India. Because establishing a collection system is a very sort of uh, heavy cost situation for us, but using this is a low cost solution for the same, right? And all of these people who are formalized, they end up making three times more money than they're making today on a monthly basis. This particular project is going on with association, in association with the IFC, which is part of the World Bank Group. So IFC is actually helping us formalize the informal sector and building out the supply chain and the ecosystem around it. Right? The green box that you see there is wherein we bring, bring our high-tech recycling facilities into picture and we ensure that uh, all electronic waste collected is recycled in an environmentally friendly manner. Uh, some uh, about Atero. So our leadership team is from leading institutes like Harvard Business School, London Business School, IIT, Stanford. Uh, uh, we have been backed by IFC, which is part of the International World Bank Group, DFJ, Indo-US Venture Partners, and Granite Hill. And we have won many awards. Some of those are the Technology Pioneer 2012 by the World Economic Forum and uh, Global uh, 100 Clean Tech Company. What do we need? We need help in building out this ecosystem in the country, which can then be sort of scaled up and taken to any other developing country in the world. And specifically what we need there is more partnerships with OEMs or manufacturers in the country, like Dells of the world, uh, sort of IBMs of the world, and so on and so forth. So they're able to participate in this particular program for us. And also sort of help in pushing the regulatory environment in the country so it becomes more amenable to this, do this kind of a, uh, social innovation in India. right? Lastly, we are also looking for some donations for this non-for-profit uh, ecosystem build-out that we're doing in association with IFC. Thank you.